Hello, everybody. Thanks for joining the article feedback uh, talk. Uh, my name is Fabrice Ford. I work for the Wikimedia Foundation, and I'm the product manager for article feedback, um, as well as for other tools like notifications, which Andrew was just talking about, and uh, now taking on a role as uh, product manager for multimedia. Um, Today we're going to tell you a little bit about uh, the article feedback experiment, and uh, I have some other team members here, Pau Jenner, who's the designer, as well as our uh, partners in uh, France and Germany, uh, Benoit Yvelin, who's a community uh, leader uh, at the French Wikipedia, and Dennis Martel, who works with the foundation in Deutschland. <coughs> and they're going to share some of their observations about this tool. Um, First, why did we uh, create uh, article feedback? It was to uh, engage readers to contribute. Um, a lot of readers are not comfortable uh, editing, they don't feel qualified, they're hesitant to do it. It's not just a user interface issue, it's just that uh, they just uh, need to be able to provide a little bit of information. Um, the other uh, goal was to invite new contributors to sign up, to uh, register, um, as uh, members and uh, create new accounts. And then last but not least, to help current editors improve articles based on that feedback. But the first two goals were primary. Um, in, we were looking to create an engagement tool for new users. <clears throat> the way the um, article feedback works, <clears throat> essentially is uh, readers uh, make suggestions. Uh, there's a little form at the bottom of the article page where you can type in a little suggestion. And then initially, they may not do any more than that, but editors can, if they want to, look at all the suggestions, all the comments, and they can improve articles based on these comments initially. But in the second step, as the readers become more comfortable uh, with posting a little bit of feedback, um, the tool is able to convert some of these uh, feedback contributors into members uh, who create accounts, and uh, some of them uh, go on to become editors as well. Um, so this is what the article feedback tool looks like um, on a typical page. You'll scroll down to the bottom of the page and you will see a uh, call to action, help improve this page. And the question is posed to you, did you find what you were looking for? Yes or no? Very standard, this is used all the time on the web. So you say, well, okay, I uh, um, didn't find what I was looking for. And then you get this little um, dialogue that says, sorry about that, any suggestions for improvement? And you get a little comments box. And the comments box is initially very specific. It say, you know, please make a suggestion to help improve the article. In this case, the person has filled in uh, this information and they click post feedback. And they get one more. Um, so we've just seen the first two steps. Uh, and the third step is here at the bottom which is, um, thanks, your feedback has been posted, join our community. So if the person is an anonymous reader, this is an incentive for them to create an account. Um, and uh, so far we found that it's been pretty successful in signing up uh, uh, readers to become members. Um, so then the feedback is then posted on the feedback page. And here you're seeing the feedback page as a reader would normally see it. So the reader is basically seeing all these different comments. Um, they have the opportunity to press a little thumbs up or thumbs down to indicate whether they think that the uh, comment is helpful or not. So they can do some simple pre-moderation. They can also flag uh, a comment if it's inappropriate. Um, but other than that, there's really not much else that they can do. However, if you're an auto-confirmed editor, uh, which means that you've made at least 10 edits on uh, the Wikipedia, you uh, get access to some additional tools. And the uh, reader tools disappear, the little thumbs up and thumbs down, and they're replaced by these kinds of tools here on the right-hand side. And in this case, we're looking at um, uh, uh, feedback that's already been moderated. Um, so the moderator has the option to uh, undo the moderation action or to mark <coughs> one of these uh, comments as resolved. Um, or if the comment is particularly interesting, they have the option to click on discuss on the talk page. And this will basically cause the comment to be copied over to the talk page so they can discuss it with other editors. 
The reason we don't put everything over the top page right away is because you'd be getting a lot of feedback, some of which may not necessarily be helpful. Um, now, if you go and look at the comments that have not yet been reviewed, in this case we have two unreviewed comments, the editor has a few special tools that will allow them to mark them as useful or um, uh, mark them as resolved, and the power will tell us a little bit more about that. So basically, you've got some moderation tools, and here you're seeing even more of these. So, you know, as a moderator, I can either mark it as useful or as resolved or as no action needed or as inappropriate. Um, and here are some of the sample comments that you might get. Uh, here are some useful comments where, you know, someone, for example, expresses concerns about the Higgs boson. They think that the article is too abstract and it's hard to understand. Well, that's actually a valid, valid comment. Uh, or some specific fact that's missing about the Clarence Clarence net. There's other comments that are not so useful, you know, like evolution comments and things like that. Um, and then we'll give you some statistics a little bit later in the presentation as to what the ratio is between useful and not useful. So I'm going to turn this over to Pau now, who's going to tell you about some of our new features and why we designed them that way. Okay. Well, uh, if you if you look at the at the comments, uh, we as Chris commented, uh, there are some comments which are useful, some which are not. When from the from the usability perspective of the tool, uh, we really don't find that much trouble in actually using the tool, but. Uh, or the main concerns of the community were regarding this quality of the, of the comments, which is something that, in theory, you can not completely control because it's just the readers publishing whatever they want. But uh, as you'll see, we, we have been applying design solutions to the different, different factors that, that, can, that, that apply in, in this whole process. So for example, uh, one, one way to, to better deal with feedback is to make more editors aware and that's what, what the, that's the purpose of the feedback link. Uh, another factor can be make uh, editors to filter more quickly the feedback. That's the purpose of the simple, simple moderation tools. Also, as the examples uh, before have shown, depending on the type of the article, there, there are some tendencies of finding more useful or or less useful feedback, so allowing editors to disable or enable feedback on specific articles, so this is another, another approach that we took. In making use of notifications to make aware both sides uh, of, this, uh, of this tool of what's going on, it's another, another approach we follow. Regarding discussion talk page, this is about continuing the conversation because uh, this is a quick uh, suggestion uh, process, but sometimes more information is needed, so we provide options for continuing this conversation on the talk page, which was, uh, in the initial version, was kind of isolated, a product, isolated product. And auto archive, it's also uh, intended to, to save people time. <laughs> if many editors went through some piece of feedback and they did not consider it useful at some point, if it's, it, got, it passes a lot of time, we, we are, uh, remove it from the, <coughs> from the list and archive it. To go into a little more detail, uh, the first one that I was commenting, the feedback link, is basically to add a link to, that is visible to editors that tells you that there, are, that there, there is feedback from readers. And we are also showing the number of feedback that has been marked as useful so that we kind of meet the editor expectations. Because if we, we show a number of feedback and the editor goes there hoping to find something useful for improve the article as the good feedback example that we show and find the bad one, then, then he's, he has a feeling that has been wasted time. So, so that's the, that was our approach. And also making, helping to make the tool more visible and getting more editors to help editing. Uh, sort of help, uh, help moderating uh, feedback. And in order to moderate feedback, we, we, did, we did also this, which was to simplify the moderation tools. Initially, tools were based on <coughs> actions, so the, such as uh, hiding a feedback, and, and that required that the users 
first evaluate if feedback was good or bad and then decide if it was bad uh, enough for uh, requesting the, its deletion to hiding and thinking on the on the specific uh, tasks that the system should do and we after making some some quick usability uh, sessions we we found that it was more more direct to just let editors decide uh, if the feedback was good or bad and then the tool would be in charge of what to do with that feedback and yeah we, we were basically the, the tools we are providing is for any piece of feedback you can, you can define if it's useful if it has been already resolved or maybe you go fix the page and mark it as resolved if it's inappropriate so it's uh, somewhat offensive and there's uh, another category in action needed where there falls a lot of feedback that uh, most editors were hesitant to, on how to classify it uh, because it it was not uh, useful for improving the article but they were reluctant to mark it in a negative way because it was provided in, in goodwill it can be just thank you for this article yeah, yeah the, there was also many feedback that was just yeah wikipedia is great the article is good and but yeah the, you cannot it's great that to get this feedback but you cannot input the article specifically uh, as i was commenting uh, yeah the feedback we get for higgs bosom or the uh, curiosity rover if you go there you probably read and, and see interesting questions that you may be wondering yourself uh, so it's really interesting feedback if you go to a rock band maybe uh, their fans or the people that hate them provide less useful feedback so uh, in order to avoid uh, editors to waste time we, we provide ways to uh, uh, disable and enable here's the example of enabling so you can enable feedback from the toolbar and then the 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 form appears at the at the bottom and with a link with a link to the feedback page to also uh, provide information on how to find the feedback that readers will be providing to your article. In, in the other side, yeah, we are providing a way to disable. Since we are an, an open project, we, we, we try to cover the, the workflow in a way that the, the same kind of users that can disable can enable it so that at some point these decisions can be reverted also depending <coughs> depending on, on the situation uh, i guess that for politicians maybe during campaigns it could i can imagine disabling due to the high amount of traffic and then really it again and yeah notifications uh, one of the before uh, notifications were possible the people didn't know what was going on either with their feedback that they were providing or the feedback that you were getting on articles you were interested in and this interest is normally expressed on, on watch pages so we we are notifying uh, that articles that you are following are, are receiving useful feedback as in the first example uh, but also to the author of the of the feedback comment to allow him to see that it has having a positive impact on the article because the feedback that he provided uh, has been received uh, positively Thank you, Paul. So now I'd like to share a little bit of research about uh, what we've learned from the tool uh, ever since we introduced some of the new features that Paul just demonstrated. Um, the first thing is, uh, and that's been the case ever since we started the tool, is that 98% of the posts are from anonymous users. So this is really uh, uh, working primarily for uh, readers. Uh, when we do a survey, about 70% of the survey respondents like the tool. Uh, we also find that 2.7% of readers who receive the invitation to join the community uh, will go ahead and create a new account. Now, 2.7% <coughs> may not sound like much, but if you keep adding it month after month with millions and millions of readers, it becomes significant. And you're talking about tens of thousands of new users per year. Um, and then three points, three, about 3% 3 of the people who were invited to edit the article also did so. Um, some of their edits were not as productive as if they had done it on their own, uh, but uh, regardless, the tool is effective from the standpoint of engaging readers to participate as far as we can tell. Uh, sorry, just to make, uh, make sure that I got it. Uh, the number of uh, invited readers who completed an edit is larger than those ones who created an account? Uh, no, those are two different uh, calls to action. We tested the tool with a call to action to say join the community and create an account. 
and we got 2.7%. And we also did a parallel uh, test. We say, uh, go ahead and make an edit. Um, and we found that it was like a little bit higher, but the productivity of those edits uh, were not as good as if they had edited on their own. Um, so as a result, we ended up not really using that feature as much. Uh, we thought it was more important to get them to sign up. Uh, and so that's what we're doing primarily. Um, feedback quality, of course quality is very difficult to judge, um, but uh, we looked at about uh, 700,000 comments that were collected so far on the three Wikipedias, <laughs> English, uh, French, and German. Um, on average, between the three sites, about 12% of the comments were found useful, which means that the editors marked them as useful. About 4% of the comments were marked as resolved, either because they were already resolved at the time that the comment was made, or because the editor went in, made the fix, and then just went back and said, okay, I've done the fix. 46% uh, were no action needed. So this is by far the largest category. And it could be anything from people saying, hey, great job, I love the article, I love Wikipedia, you got a lot of praise, uh, to uh, just a comment that's just you know, not particularly useful. It's not inappropriate, but it's not, you, know, you can't really do much with it. And then about 17% were found inappropriate because they were either using insults or uh, saying nasty things or uh, being a little bit offensive or complete gibberish. Uh, you know, like just lots of characters. So the ratio is actually not that bad. Uh, if you look at comments on the web, um, those are generally pretty typical. Uh, in some ways, I think that we probably are collecting slightly more useful comments on Wikipedia than you might on a major news site, for example, where people have a tendency to go nuts. Um, so the general takeaways are that the feedback form make it easy for readers to participate, that posting the feedbacks uh, gets many readers to register. Uh, some of the comments are useful, but most are not actionable. And moderating comments, unfortunately, creates more work for the editors. Um, so if an editor uh, wants to go to the comments and moderate them, they're going to have to spend time that they wouldn't be spending editing. However, we've done everything in our power to make that easy to moderate by having the new moderation tool. And for example, on the French Wikipedia, they're completely caught up. They have 40,000 articles. They only have 10 unreviewed comments last night when I checked. So the community can, if they want to, get pretty uh, fast at doing it. And if the editors don't have time to moderate, the auto-archive feature will just tuck the comments away. So um, we think that it's a pretty effective solution uh, that if a uh, wiki project wants to have uh, feedback comments, that we provide you one of the best tools that's available on the internet for doing that. Okay, let's talk quickly about the, the pilots. I will tell you about the English pilots, and then I'll ask our partners uh, at the French and the German Wikipedia to tell you about uh, their uh, findings. So on the English Wikipedia, uh, we started in January 2012. Um, sometime in uh, June of 2012, uh, we expanded the range of comments to be on 10% of the English Wikipedia. Uh, and we did that all the way up until um, March of 2013. Uh, since then, we have, uh, instead of making it automatically available at 10% at the community's request, we've made it available on an opt-in basis. So any editor who wants feedback can turn it on to their article. Uh, so at peak, it was about 400,000 articles. Uh, it's now a couple thousand. Uh, readers posted 894,000 comments, about 10% were found useful, about 13% were found inappropriate. Um, in March of this year, there was an RFC on the English Wikipedia. Uh, 175 editors participated in the RFC, and 63% voted against a wide deployment. Their primary reasons were that they thought the feedback was not useful enough, to justify the effort of moderating the comments. Um, however, they thought the tool, about a, you know, a vocal minority of about a third of the respondents said, no, we really like the tool, we'd like to continue to use it. Um, so the administrator who closed the RFC decided that uh, the uh, proper resolution would be to keep the tool on an opt-in basis so that we could continue to experiment with it and see if we find any uh, ways to make it more valuable. So it's now enabled on uh, 2,800 articles. And that number keeps growing, so there's more and more editors just keep adding our, uh, articles. Um, I'm going to now ask Benoit uh, Evelyn 
to tell us about the French pilots. Okay. Uh, on French Wikipedia, we we are currently having a pilot to. Uh, we start with a big pull in order to, to see if the article feedback tool may be useful to, to be deployed. 465 people uh, answer this pool. It was very interesting because 62 people vote for the pool and uh, much, much of them just want us to release the article feedback without any test on all pages of French Wikipedia. But uh, unfortunately, we have to make a compromise. So we have we are currently uh, having a six month six month test pilot. Uh, we started in May, and we hope to have good results. <coughs> most of um, most of the feedbacks are moderated, as Fabrice said, uh, very early. I try. I just uh, take my feedback list uh, just now, and I just have. 33 feedbacks to moderate, it's really easy to do. Uh, about our statistics, uh, we, uh, um, we are very happy because uh, we have a lot of useful comments, more than uh, on English Wikipedia. And we also have uh, much more inappropriate ones. For the feedbacks who don't need uh, any comment, we are happy because uh, much of them are just thank you for the work, thank you for articles. It's really, really great for us. And so, uh, what, the, the, what do you yes. think the outcome is likely to be on the French Wikipedia? With, uh, what, you know, what are the plans for what to do at the end of the pilot? At, uh, yeah, at the end of, of the pilot, um, People who don't want to have the article feedback are free to, to make a new uh, new RFC, for example. If the, we don't, I think we will, the first decision was to, to, to have the article feedback on every page, so I hope to, to make this. Thank you very much. Now, Dennis Bartel, I'll let you introduce yourself, Dennis. Thank you very much. Thank you very much, uh, Benoit, for your um, for what you already told. Um, in the German Wikipedia, um, the article feedback tool has been introduced uh, as a in December 2012. The pilot has been started, which ran uh, until June 2013. And um, in after a lengthy discussion on how we should do it, so we had a first poll: um, shall we do a pilot or not? And we had a second poll at the end of the pilot um, if, we, if, the, or if, uh, if the article feedback tool should be kept on. And it was enabled on 13,000 articles which have been um, selected by the community itself. And um, the readers posted 51,000 comments, and so all the further 12% found useful, 14% found inappropriate. These counts are uh, in common with the other. Uh, pilots which already ran, so there's no difference to the English or the French Wikipedia already. The final poll which ran uh, um, was uh, had a participation of 226 editors, which is a pretty large amount for uh, the German Wikipedia, and 65% um, voted against the article feedback. Um, there, um, the vote in general has been pretty um, well informed. It was an unemotional discussion, and uh, the people had a took the decision on their own and everything was fine. The, the, the feedback tool finally was removed, but um, everybody and throughout the discussion in general um, was a result that um, getting informed about readers' interest is a very, very important goal. And um, this is a, a general um, thing the, um, the article feedback told the community we have to take care more on the readers' interest in general. How to solve this in the future if the article feedback tool can come back again and whether it is or not, this is uh, up to the future. There's a um, certain um, editor community impact um, I'd like to address um, because um, this pilot has been run in a very, very close participation and um, um, cooperation with um, all um, of the community. And the experimental <coughs> pilot um, um, with polls in the beginning and at the end reduced conflict between the chapter and the project manager of the chapter. 
and, and uh, the community and the foundation itself. The process was, um, was very much liked by many of the members of the community. Um, how, and we did a small questionnaire in the end and found out that more than a half of uh, everybody said it's, uh, that, that this was a very, very smooth uh, process of introduction. The participation throughout all stages of introduction increased a certain ownership. So everybody had the feeling this is a process um, where mm, that is my process, and that, is, mm, that was very fine. And uh, at the end, the motivation for innovation was enlarged in general, which caused a good effect on the community, though the other thing, though the other AFT, and finally, was not in prison. So that's uh, the report from the general. Thank you very much, Dennis. I'd like to also point out that this positive effect with the community engagement also took place on the French Wikipedia. So this, this approach of doing a pilot first, engaging the community to discuss the merits, pros and cons of the tool, is really the way to go, and we hope to do this with all future features that we deploy. Um, so the next steps uh, for this tool is that we're going to support these current pilots on the French and on the English Wikipedia. We're going to start a few more experimental pilots. If there's anyone here that's from another wiki that uh, thinks that they would want to use this experimental feature, come and see me afterwards. Uh, we're going to evaluate the test results uh, at the end of the year, and we'll enable wider releases uh, as uh, we learn the results of uh, the uh, French Wikipedia pilot and any other pilots that we conduct. Uh, the last point that I will make uh, is that <clears throat> this uh, tool seems particularly effective for engaging readers. They post feedback, their feedback gets marked as useful, uh, they receive a notification about that. Uh, that can help them improve the article or they can help an editor improve the article if they receive the notification about this new useful feedback. So overall, it's a really nice virtuous uh, cycle. We think actually it has a lot of benefits if it can be managed effectively. Uh, so the overall impact makes it easier to improve Wikipedia, provides on-ramps for readers to participate, convert some readers into editors, and offer some useful feedback for editors. Um, and uh, the last question that uh, we don't really have time to have uh, much Q&A, but I'd like you to think about, and I'd love to hear your thoughts, is how do we, as a movement, give readers a voice? If, if readers are not really capable or comfortable interacting on talk pages uh, at this point in time, how can they discuss our content? Um, and just as importantly, how can they participate in decisions? Um, they are important, and we as a, a movement are running a very large public information utility, and we have a responsibility to the public to make it easy for them to provide feedback. But right now, we don't have a mechanism to do that except for article feedback. Uh, the talk pages have proved inadequate for that. Um, so the question that I pose you as you go back home after the Wikimedia is, uh, I think we should all ask ourselves, how do we basically give uh, readers more of an opportunity to participate? Right now they're being shut out, uh, unless they're willing to go through our complicated tools, which are too hard for most people. So our hope is Oracle Feedback can provide a useful solution, either in its current form or in a future form, in order to make that happen. And if you want to learn more, you can go on uh, mediawiki.org and uh, search for Article Feedback, version 5. And uh, I'll keep you uh, abreast of everything else. Any questions about uh, this project? Yes? Yeah, um, I am Arjuna. I am from Telugu Wikipedia. One is, uh, I am interested in trying out this on Telugu Wikipedia. So Which Wikipedia? Telugu. Oh, excellent. Fantastic. We should talk afterwards. Thank you. The question I have is, you know, although this gives a good engagement for the readers to, and between readers and editors. Did you look at uh, another side effect of this tool, for example, to assess a quality from the point of view of readers? We have featured articles, uh, I mean, general purpose or general articles like that from the point of view of editors. But based on the, I mean, uh, based on the response to the first question, maybe there is a way to determine the kind of quality from the perspective of readers and keep yeah. it dynamic maybe over the last two months. Uh, we certainly provide an indicator of satisfaction. In other words, uh, and you can see that on the feedback page, 70% found the article useful. Um, so uh, it's a customer satisfaction uh, rating. Uh, quality is a very difficult thing to rate. Um, many, many people have tried, and, and to my knowledge, very few have succeeded. Uh, 
we are still searching uh, as a whole, uh, humanity is looking for ways to evaluate quality effectively. However, if you want to measure customer satisfaction, this tool provides you with a valuable way to do it. Yes? Thank you very much for your time. We'll be uh, around if you have any more questions. And uh, enjoy the rest of what you made. Thank you. 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 Thank you.